KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. It was a really cold start this morning. Some spots down into the upper 20s, including King City this morning at 29. The rest of us basically in the low to mid 30s. We ended up with middle and upper 50s. A few spots got into the low 60s, including Gilroy, Salinas, and Soledad. And that was pretty much it just for about an hour or so. We did have sunshine, though, for a good part of the day here. Uh, clouds were on the increase later in the day, and there's a weakening cold front moving into Northern California. The bulk of this one is up in Oregon and Washington, and we've heard that story before. Area of low pressure way up here, tailing end of the cold front coming through both Northern and Central California over the next 12 hours, hopefully providing at least a few rain showers for us later on tonight. There's a couple of systems actually out. One right here, of course, making landfall up in British Columbia and up near Seattle. And the other one way out here, uh, moving into the Gulf of Alaska. This one, another powerful storm system. Of course, it's way off the coast, but it does mean we're going to get more swell from it. So in a few days, let's say weekend, Saturday, Sunday, the swell train arrives once again. So we have one swell arriving now and the next one again for the weekend. So that doesn't leave a lot of time really for the swell to settle down, which means we have high surf advisories going for the next 24 hours and probably again over the weekend. You can see that nice big swirl here. And that also means the jet stream is pretty well energized out there across the Pacific. And hopefully some of that energy gets here and it looks like it might at some point next week. High surf advisory again for the Monterey Bay up the north coast as well and uh, down through Big Sur. So again, stay way back from the ocean's edge. We got those sneaker waves and what do we call those? Well, that's when you see the ocean. It looks flat. And then all of a sudden there's a set, could be five waves, could be 15 waves. You go out onto the rocks, you get caught, you get pulled into the ocean, which is super cold, and you lose your energy really quickly. And for the surf, uh, you know, know your limits. Be experienced and don't put first responders at risk, especially not now uh, with everything else going on. We're going to take a look at the long range. I don't show you the uh, sort of the inside of the models that we use very often. This is one of them called the GFS. So I look at about three or four or five of these over the course of forecasting every day. Uh, this is one that you can see tail end of cold fronts. We saw one tonight. We'll see one probably on Friday night. Will we get any rain out of it? Maybe a slight chance. Better chances, though, after the weekend. You can see some moisture moving through California over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Again, this is just a quick glimpse. Could some of this be down over us? It certainly could. This is a long-range forecast. So some of these showers could make it in here over the weekend. Right now, it looks like the real focus will be the Pacific Northwest. As we go into next week, a better front maybe on Monday could get some rain out of that. More snow in the Sierra. And the biggest of all of them potentially, again, potentially, is next Wednesday. This could be our first real bona fide winter storm with winds, heavy rain, and big snow in this year. Again, this is a week out, so everything is subject to change, of course. But we are looking at long-range forecasts here, and at least we're seeing some hope in terms of copious potential amounts of rain here for the state. For tonight, yeah, maybe a few showers. Very, very light. That'll pass through overnight. Whatever we get, we'll take, which isn't going to be much. By tomorrow afternoon, we're already back to sunshine, clearing skies and a breeze. Here's the rain amounts. You can see they're pretty anemic, a tenth of an inch or less, and that is not much. But hey, again, in a year where we're not getting much, at least we're getting something. Taking a look at tonight's forecast, if you're going to be out later tonight after 10, 11, midnight, that's when those shower chances start. 30s and 40s, so it's going to be a cold rain, as we say, with some patchy fog out there as well. Temperatures will bottom out in the low to mid 40s with the cloud cover. Could be a few spots getting into the upper 30s, not as cold as last night. Mid 50s to low 60s tomorrow, last day of the year, mostly sunny, breezy and cool after morning clouds. Taking a look at your high temperatures now for tomorrow, upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. That's for everybody. Coolest spots up here in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Ben Lomond, Bonnie Dune, Boulder Creek, you know your coolest spots. Here we go in a New Year's Eve. That looks good. That looks dry for Thursday night. And then we have rain chances going again over the weekend at night, and we'll start to fine tune those a little bit. Temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s. For daytime highs, again, on the first day of the year, we shouldn't have any issues weather-wise. 50s and 60s for the first, and then some possible showers over the weekend. The best chances of rain for me right now look like Monday and potentially the middle of next week. That could be, again, our first real storm system. None of the stuff that's coming between now and the weekend looks like it could not going to be an issue for the Santa Cruz Mountains. Next week, that could be a different story. We'll talk more about that, of course, in the coming days. And certainly keep a close eye on it. Oh, yeah, for the burn scars. Absolutely. Right.